Here we have another situation with Joe Biden misspeaking. The man should not be up on stage, but he does it again. Another gaffe from the human gaffe machine himself. And we also have the Democrats continuing to politicize the beer bug. And I'm not going to get into all of the things that I believe about the beer bug, but I am going to say that once November gets here and once the election is over, regardless of the outcome, it's going to magically disappear. All of the hysteria, all of the concern, it will all just magically disappear. Everybody can go back to normal after the election because this has been a politicized issue primarily by the Democrats. And we have Joe Biden trying to politicize it again. Yet, yet, <laughs> yet he, thinks, uh, he thinks a few more people uh, might die from it. And perhaps, most cruelly of all, if Donald Trump has his way, the complications from COVID-19, which are well beyond what they should be. It's estimated that 200 million people have died, probably by the time I finish this talk. <laughs> oh, 200 million, Joe? Uh, I think you're slightly off the mark there, Joe. I think you're slightly off the mark just a little bit. But this is what the Democrats continue to do. They continue to use fear tactics. They continue to use fear porn. And Joe Biden simply should not be on stage. He just shouldn't. Everybody with a working brain knows this. Uh, there's obviously, uh, you know, the people that are on the left that hate Trump no matter what. The people that cry no matter what he says, no matter what he does. They're going to vote. They're going to vote for, for Biden. They're absolutely going to do it. But I continue to talk about the middle. The people in the middle see this man standing on stage and misspeaking time after time after time after time. It's not an isolated situation. This isn't, well, he misspoke once or twice here or there. We all misspeak once or twice here or there. It's just some Thing that humans do. There is a consistent issue with Joe Biden not understanding that he's even standing on stage speaking. He just completely checks out half the time. And Joe Biden's always been a gaffe machine. He has. But it's next level now. It's to the point where the man should not be out there. He should not be in this situation, but he is, and the Democrats deserve him. They deserve the nonsense that he continues to spew. We have now him estimating that 200 million people may die from the beer bug. It's funny because... When we first heard all of the estimates about this beer bug when the fear porn was out there, we started to hear the mainstream say up to two to three million people could die. Up to two to three million Americans could die from this situation if not handled properly. We heard them finding the most extreme uh, estimates out there, pushing that fear. And then what happens? Well... We fell about 1.8 million short of that ridiculous number that was being put out there. Now, the media puts that number out there, correct? Of course they did. So the media sets a bar of 2 million Americans could pass away due to this situation. Well, now we're at around 200,000. So essentially what you're saying based on your logic is that Donald J. Trump has saved 1.8 million lives with the handling of this situation. One of, uh, both things can't be true. Either one, you overestimated trying to politicize and trying to use fear tactics with those estimates of two to three million people. Either you overestimated and used fear or either that or Donald Trump either saved 1.8 million lives. Figure it out. But the next time someone argues that 200,000 people have died, then all you have to say is, well, that means Donald Trump saved 1.8 million lives. Every time someone wants to politicize the beer bug numbers, you just say it. Well, that means Donald Trump saved 1.8 million lives because the mainstream told us that up to 2 to 3 million people could die if not handled properly. So thank you for confirming that Donald J. Trump saved 1.8 million lives. If you want to politicize it, we can politicize it. That is the situation we're in. It is nonsense. We are in clown world, and it's only going to get crazier 
We are still about 44 days out, I believe. We've got the debates coming up. That's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see that. We've got a lot of craziness. Every day something new happens. So thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Yes, my power is back on. Uh, I was without power for four or five days here in Pensacola after Hurricane Sally gave us basically a direct hit. Uh, now, we didn't get the, 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 the eye wall didn't land here. It landed in Gulf Shores, but we got the right side of the hurricane, which is the worst side. And it was it was pretty rough, but we're here. We're back and we're ready to kick ass. You guys have a great day. Keep America great. And we will talk to you later.